Okay, so what's your name? Um, it's Laura Coleman. And so, Laura, how long have you been waiting in line? Um, since 9.30. Since 9.30? You were a little frustrated. weren't expecting to wait this long today. Um, frustrated, Molly, yeah. So definitely was not expecting to wait. Um, I mean... I don't know if anyone was expecting this particular wait. You know, I know a lot of people are saying that the machines have been up and down, one and two and three here and there or whatever. Um, but everybody here has been, like, really awesome. You know, everybody's been great. So it's made the experience a little bit easier than it normally would have been. Um, so I, maybe the commission can bring us some lunch or something because we, we're pretty hungry here. Some people are. but <laughs> Well, I know you have two little ones with you, but yes. some of your neighbors have been kind of stepping up, trying to make it a little easier. Definitely. Um, one lady brought us some snacks, and um, someone else gave us some Chick-fil-A. So we didn't want to lose our line, our place in line. So, and they were hungry, but definitely they banded together and you know, gave us some food. And so we were able to actually stay in line longer than we expected because they are fed. And so if if the R Richland County Election Commission officials were out here, what would you have to say to them? I would say that, um, you know, in hindsight, that this definitely could have been a lot more streamlined. Um, people have to go to work. People have kids they need to pick up from school. And if we have lives outside of this particular, you know, voting place. We want to do our civic duty, but we can't even really live our lives today because of the wait has been so long. So I would say next, you know, the next four years, the next two-year election, you know, please do a lot better for the citizens in this community. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.